Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week I'm doing something a little bit different to celebrate the launch of Pokemon's Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu on Nintendo Switch. I'm bringing you Eevee nail art including the eight Eeveelutions. Thank you very much to Pokemon for sponsoring this video. My boys are so excited about these designs because they are the biggest Pokemon fans ever. And I'm going to be following along with the official Eevee Evolution nail art from the official Pokemon YouTube channel which has been done by the very talented Sophie also known as the Illustrated Nail. And her video is linked in the description down below. So we're going to begin with Umbreon and as usual I've applied my base coat and then I've gone in with two layers of colour coat so let's see if I can do this. For Umbreon I start with a black dot at the tip for the nose then I go on to Oh, right, okay. Black dot at the tip for the nose. Black dot at the tip for the nose. Slightly triangular shaped from the look of it. Oh, I'm getting carried away. In red eyes either side of the nose in the middle of the nail. You want them to look quite symmetrical. Okay, so red eyes either side of the nose. So I've got my fine detail brush and a red. Okay, so we're doing two sort of armoury shapes. I have got a bit of a problem here that these are drying very quickly today with the studio lights. How are we doing? How's that looking? I think we need to go a bit bigger. Do you? Hmm, they don't match up. We can tweak. Do not panic. Oh dear. Embryon looks like it's had a tough day. So let's touch this up and make it absolutely perfect. Let's even up those eyes. So we need to go a little lower here. Yes, I'm happy with that. What do you think? Next stage. Then apply a yellow circle above the eyes in the centre of the nail. Okay, yellow circle above the eyes in the centre of the nail. The easiest way to do this would be to do it really thinly first, and sort of mark it out. Thicken it up now. actually better. And above this you want to apply two yellow strips for the ears. These need to be like curved strips it looks like with a gap in the middle. This is surprisingly a little more tricky than it first seems but let's give it a go now. Bit messy, let's tidy it up. I think what we'll do is what Sophie from the Illustrated Nail who's in this video did and that is to go back in with that original grey to tidy up some of the looks so I think I'm going to do the same. Let's tidy up that ring and although you can see the marks do not worry about it because once the top coat goes on it all blends together. This is a good technique for tidying up fine detailing if you're struggling hand painting in the first instance. Then apply a black circle in the red eyes and a dot of white using a dotting tool. I think we need a medium dot for the eyes in black. That's the one. So that's a large dotting tool there. Maybe just take it up to the edge of that red a bit more. And a final touch, we're going to give a little white dot at the side of the eye for Umbreon. And Umbreon is a dark type Pokemon. And we're going to mirror it on the other side. And again to leave that one to dry and move on to the next stage before we'll come back in a little bit and top coat. And next we're going to do Flareon. And for Flareon, I've done my base coat and gone in with two layers of like a terracotta orange. And then it's on to Flareon. For Flareon, you want to use a striping brush dipped in pastel yellow and draw on a French tip. Oh right, uh, striping brush, pastel yellow. This is not like I'm watching the video for the sort of French tip that we're doing. Do you know, I may have to change to my detailer brush because I much prefer working with it for designs like this. I haven't done some really nice intricate art like this in ages. So we're just gonna go around, it's sort of like an inverted rainbow shape. 
And at home you won't have to work as quick as me probably, well it depends where you are in the world, but I'm having to work this quickly because with studio lights and central heating and things like that, it is drying very fast. Then using black polish you want to add a dot for the nose and then either side two lemon shaped black eyes. Causing that. Oh, so the dot is actually more of a triangle, so we're going to try that. So I've done the dot for the nose using a dotting tool and then taking it out to the sides to make that triangle. And then we've done the two almond shaped eyes again and built them up. So if you've made any little mistakes like I have here, go back in with your base colour and it won't show when we put the top coat on. You can even tweak that little nose if you're struggling getting it nice and triangular in the first instance. Let's tweak it a bit. So you can see for the nose, it's just fractionally below the level of the French tip, just fractionally below there. And then the eyes are in line with the sides of the nose and then up to the sides. And if you haven't got all these colours in polish, then I think as long as you've got the base colour, you get away with doing this with acrylic paint, it'd probably be easier in some respects as well. Okay, next step. Make sure they're symmetrical. Then above this, you want to add a lemon yellow mane. Right, so we're doing that as a dot, a very, very large dot, and then a squiggle above it. Do a big circle here and then just round it out. Now this doesn't always give a very good circle when you do it, but we can go back in afterwards and tweak it, so don't panic. Let's make it a little bigger. And then we've got to do this little squiggle for the mane. Go to the side. Okay, how are we feeling about that? I think we need to blend that into this a bit more. And then either side, create two ears using the black polish. So to create the ears, we're actually doing it a little bit differently. And we are doing a little line here and another one here and then taking it up like a triangle and then filling that bit in. And we're going to do the same on the other side. To finish, add a white dot in each eye with a dotting tool. So a white dot in each eye with a dotting tool. For Jolteon. So Flareon or Flareon is a fire type and Jolteon is an electric type so let's get on with this. For Jolteon you want to start off by painting a yellow line at the base of the nail. To define the face create zigzag lines at the base and the tip of the nail with the yellow polish and a striping brush. A yellow line at the base of the nail and I've applied my base coat and then two layers of white. Let's do these zigzaggy zaggy thingies. How's that? How are we doing? Siggy zaggy thingy and then bits off to the side which I am guessing now are going to be ears. So we'll go down a little bit, then across that side, and then back down, and then a bit more. And we're doing a bit of a scoop round. Let's do that scoop round. So I'm assuming this is the bottom of the face. Let's go round and then we'll take it out to here. Let's fill it all in. So we're tweaking up this design. Like Flareon, paint the nose, eyes and ears with black polish, but this time slightly smaller. So let's get that little nose in. That's roughly about here. Okay, I've just tweaked up that nose as well. That's the next stage. And then to finish, apply a white dot to each black eye using the dotting tool. Let's add in the little ears, and it's the same basis as last time. Two lines, down, and then a little triangle shape. Marvellous, and then two white dots for eyes. a little bit. 
gonna let that dry and then we'll top coat. Next, I think it's Vaporeon water type. Let's check. For Vaporeon, start off by painting four semicircles at the tip with blue polish. We want four semicircles at the base of the nail, so. Let's do these. And again, I'm using my fine detail brush, but do you know what you could do if you wanted to be easier? It's use a dotting tool on an edge. How's that? Okay, one more. And what's next? Then paint the face. So we're going to do a semicircle. And then it's like two triangles at the top. So I might do those before we go any further and then we can tweak from there. Hmm, I think we need to go a bit wider out to the side. Let's just draw all that polish up. Add an M shape in dark blue above the face. Okay, so add an M shape in dark blue above the face. down that other side and then we're going over in a semicircle and fill that in and then these two bits out to the side how's that is that pretty equal okay next yellow for the ears and more semicircles at the base okay I'm going back in with that soft yellow that we used earlier I think probably best to do it a bit like a triangle because that fits in more with Vaporeon's ear shape. Just notice we've also got a blue spike on the top of the head, so let's do that. And then it's some more semicircles. One. Finish with the eyes and nose in black. And then I messed it up. It's fine. It is fine. We'll do the two eyes. I think what we'll do is shrink down that nose a little bit in just a moment. We'll have to wait for it to dry though. Just going to add some detailing to the eyes. So I'm taking a little bit of acetone with the black nail polish just to thin it down a little bit. We're going to go in and tweak this nose because we've made it a bit too big. So don't panic, we'll just add some polish around it here. You can feather that polish out a little bit if you want to make sure it's not too lumpy. And then the mouth is it. Line detailing in blue. going to wait to do the mouth because I have just touched up that nose and I want it to dry. So instead we're going to copy this line detailing in blue. Again I have just mixed a little bit of acetone with my black polish to thin it down a little to make it easier. Again I've used a dotting tool for the eyes but if you don't have this at home you can use a toothpick instead or your brush. And we're going to let that one dry before we top coat. For Sylveon, paint on a heart shape in pink at the base of the nail. Over that side. Followed by two large blue eyes. Two large blue eyes. Okay, let's do these two big beautiful eyes. I think we need to go up a little higher with this. We need to just increase the size down the bottom of this one. Okay, next. Add white bow detailing to the pink. Okay, now tell you what, while we're here, we will cover up that bit of blue that went a little bit awry. Paint a black nose and mouth. And then do the little smile. 
And don't forget the white dot detailing in the eyes. It really brings it to life. And one here. So we're going to let that dry before we top coat that one. And don't worry about the rippled appearance. We can sort that out once we top coat. Okay, what's Sophie got for me next? Then we're on to leaf yarn. Using a striping brush, paint a reverse question mark in turquoise. Almost there. Outline the eyes, add eye detailing, nose and a jawline. Outline those eyes. Oh, blobbed it a little. Can you tell which side of the nail I found easier to paint? <laughs> okay, now some eye detailing. So I will use my striping brush for this. Fill the eyes with a diluted brown. Let's fill in those eyes. And the other one too. Then with the same colour, paint on the fine detailing at the base of the nail. It helps to steady your arm on the table so that you don't wobble. Again, I'm adding a bit of acetone to my brush just to thin this down. Let's have a look. So we're doing a little swirl there. There, try not to go as far down as I did because I've gone down into the eye fold. And then finally, the white dot in each eye. And about there. You're cute, Leafeon. Okay, next I do believe we have Glaceon, who is an ice type. For Glaceon, start by painting the blue geometric diamond shapes and work your way around the sides of the nail. Okay, so we're doing a blue geometric diamond shape base under the nail and then we take it round to the side let's see this is interesting and then I've swapped my striper here to go down the side of that nail and I think we're going to sweep it round Okay, what's next? Add teal D-shaped eyes, a nose, mouth and jawline before outlining diamond shapes and detailing at the base and tip of the nail. Tiny little nose. A little mouth. And then a jawline. First. They're not quite symmetrical those, which will annoy me vastly. But what we can do is do this outline and then we can fill a bit more in, in a moment. I can see there's a couple of little ears been added. So we've got this little bit of detailing at the bottom here and fill it in. The same on the other side. Once again, white dots in the eyes to finish. Then I'm going to go just back in with that blue and just tweak this top corner here because I'm not happy with it. Okay, we're on to our eighth evolution, and that is Espeon, so let's see what we need to do. I've started with lilac purple base here. For Espeon, start with a dark purple nose. Next, paint two purple almond-shaped eyes. 
start with that little purple nose so we look like we're doing that quite low down the nail so I'd say about here two almond shaped eyes these go quite up let's see down let's just refine that shape to make them a bit more almond as I said there's always one side that you tend to prefer doing and you find it a lot easier and a lot quicker how is that looking okay next right there okay outline the jawline the top of the head and ears in the dark purple Let's go over the top of the head, do the ears. We need to add a little eye detailing. Finish with a white dot in the red and the eyes. One there, one there, and a little one there. But we're going to allow that to dry before we top coat. And that means we must be on to Evie, who's an original type. Last but definitely not least, it's Evie. Start with the cream rough at the tip with three zigzags. Oh, pause. Okay, cream rough at the tip with three zigzags. We'll go around here. and just fill it in okay next use your dotting tool and black polish for the eyes and then elongate them with your brush add a black nose and Evie's mouth it looks like it's just oh inside the rough we extend it upwards Okay, black nose. And then Evie's mouth, which is so sweet. For this, I'm dipping my brush in acetone first. Let's get a bit more acetone on that brush because we want this to be quite fine. Hmm, it's gone a bit thick now, so what we'll do is we will thin that down with the base colour. We'll just let it dry. Then add long brown ears starting at the base. In between the ears, add a black zigzag line and eye detailing. See, go down to there. And across that side. Zigzag line. In the same brown as the ears, add U shapes in each eye. Oh, right, okay. I think maybe then my hair should have been black, my zigzag hair. And finish off with white dots in the top left hand corner. Finally, add a quick dry top coat to seal everything in and make them super shiny. Okay, we're going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to top coat. I know it looks horrendous now, but trust me, when that top coat goes on, it will be unrecognisable. And here are the finished looks of Evie and the eight evolutions. Let me know which one is your favourite and are you going to give these a go? And if so, which one are you going to try? And don't forget to tag hashtag Team Evie. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon next to it to be notified when I upload. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you would love to see. And I'll see you all very, very soon.